Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about the Bradley and Ukraine and what we can expect. Um, so let, let's start with this. The United States is providing Bradleys to Ukraine. If you were to type in Bradley and pull up the images, you're going to get something that looks like a tank. It's not a tank. This is important to some politicians, diplomats, and military Twitter. Um, it's not a tank. It's an infantry fighting vehicle or an armored fighting vehicle. I know it looks just like a tank. It's not. It's technically a troop transport. <laughs> Um, so the, uh, that, that's one aspect to keep in mind. These aren't tanks and this will come up again later. The next part of this is if you are older or the people you're talking to are older, you may have people say pretty negative things about the Bradley. Most of that has to do with its design process. Um, if you ever see like a sketch of what the Bradley was supposed to be and then compare it to what exists, you will completely understand every Pentagon project ever. <laughs> um, there are some slight differences. So they're not tanks, even though they have a cannon, they're armored, they're tracked. Um, I think that most Americans, especially those who are familiar with military affairs, are expecting these to you to be used the way Americans would use them. I don't foresee that happening. This this gives Ukraine a a a pretty heavy edge at night and it gives them a speedy armored vehicle. I wouldn't expect them to be used the way the US might. It did y'all hear that? Thunder ran from one side to the other. Um the sensors on this thing are are well beyond what Russia has. So it's going to be a pretty formidable vehicle. Now one of the big questions that's gonna come up, do we have enough of these to give away? Yeah. Yeah, tons. There are tons, uh hundreds. Uh, sitting around collecting dust. This is not going to harm U.S. readiness. Uh, in fact, there are some people asking why we gave them so few. The next progression in this, when it comes to providing assistance to Ukraine, the next step would be tanks, because this is not a tank. It looks like a tank, but it's not. Um, the next step would be tanks. This is kind of a line that a lot of politicians and diplomats don't want to cross. Those who are familiar with military logistics, they have reservations as well because traditionally when you're supplying equipment to a country, you don't want to give them something that is so advanced they have a hard time integrating it into their way of fighting. Ukraine has proven itself to be wildly adaptable and basically can kind of take anything and fit it into what they're doing. Um, so that one is probably gone. Now, as soon as this happens, as soon as the Bradley starts getting used in a widespread manner there, there are going to be people pushing for Abrams. Um, just remember the logistical train that has to go along with that. That is wild. The The part about it being advanced, yeah, I, I, I do not have concerns about that anymore. Ukraine has shown that it, it can integrate, I mean, anything, really. Um, but the fuel, because remember, the Abrams doesn't run on, on normal fuel. Um, it, it runs on jet fuel. So the fuel will be an issue, and there's a lot of logistics with that thing. So I know that that's the next logical step is to provide them some of those. You'd have to figure out the logistics first. The, the people who are going to talk about Ukraine not being up to running them and all of that stuff, I don't buy that. I think they'll be able to integrate them pretty quickly. 
keeping them running, that's something else. I, I don't know about that. Um, but this is a vehicle that will definitely help, and it's something that they can use to take back some dirt. It really can. Um, you know, the, the equipment that has been provided, particularly the artillery, stuff like that, it can cause a lot of devastation on the Russian side. But artillery doesn't take ground. The Bradley can. And I have a feeling that Ukraine will use these in a semi-unconventional sense and replicate some successes they've had in other places. So, anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day. Uh -huh.